Good morning, family. It is a beautiful spring morning. It is, uh, what is today, April 11th? And uh, it's already getting hot. As you guys know, Southern California, we get pretty hot out here. And uh, this week we have been in the low 80s. Um, lots of sunshine. We're supposed to get rain this weekend. And uh, hey, did uh, anybody else's zones changed? <laughs> My zone changed. So I'm no longer in 9B. I am now in 10A. Yes, which is even hotter. I mean, in the summertime, you guys know, we're at about 109 to about 108. 11 sometimes 17 yeah it gets really hot out here anyway because it's been so hot all week i thought about the birds i have one bird bath and uh it gets attacked by the squirrels all the time so i decided to put more bird baths out here so that the birds will have a chance to survive you know they need water so do the bees i do have a pond and the bees and other smaller animals are able to get in there but the larger birds that I have are not able to get in there. So if I turn the sprinklers on or if I start watering, I mean, the birds just come out of everywhere. So today I'm gonna to be out here in the garden. I'm gonna do a few repairs and I'm also gonna make a couple of more bird baths. So you guys stay tuned and I'll show you how I do things on a budget.
been with me for a while you remember when I made this bird bath this is a simple wrought iron plant stand that I had and I went to I think it was Ross and I got this little bowl with a sea turtle and everything on it and I just set it on there I stacked some pebbles and I uh, just made a little bird bath well although the birds love it the squirrels love it too and it stays filthy i am constantly having to come out here and uh clean this thing out because like i said the squirrels will come out here um they knock it over skunks raccoons everything at least twice a week i come over here and this thing is just toppled over it's laying on the ground so i decided i'm going to put two more bird baths out here and not back here in this area because this is where the squirrels hang out. They live in that tree over there. So they come through here quite a lot and they just, like I said, they are constantly in this thing. They tip it over. And uh, I'm gonna put bird baths over on the other side of the garden and more places where just the birds hang out mostly. Mostly, you heard what I said, mostly. Because uh, squirrels, yeah. So you guys know me by now. I don't like spending a lot of money on things, especially things that are coming out here into the garden that are gonna get filthy and dirty. So I had two more plant stands on my front porch that I have had for quite some time. When I say quite some times, this one right here used to be white. You can see it still has old chipped paint on it. Let me see. Look at that. You can see old pieces of paint. Now, I will be painting these guys in the future. I am not going to paint them today. And when I do, I will do a video on it. But I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to make these into bird baths. Okay, so I went to the Salvation Army and I picked up two beautiful ceramic bowls. They're nice weight, very pretty, nice and colorful. I thought they were gorgeous and they would add a lot of color to the garden. These bowls were $4.99 a piece and they were 50% off. So it was $4.99 for the both of them.
as you guys know i have lots of shrubbery and they provide homes for a lot of birds in this area and uh, although birds can be a nuisance when it comes to growing food they are excellent at pest control <laughs> every morning i come out here and there are birds on all of these collards that have gone to seed they are out here picking off aphids and all kind of other little worms and you know the cabbage worms and caterpillars and uh I love watching the birds. I love hearing them when I'm out here in the morning. So I want to provide water and shelter for them. This bath here is in the sun right now, but that's just because it's still a little early. I think it's barely about maybe 930. So for the rest of the day, this whole area will be in the shade. But uh, that's it for now. I have a lunch date today, so I have to go in and get dressed. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. And hopefully we will get a little bit more gardening done. Until then, you guys stay blessed. And don't forget to pray for one another. Talk about pest control. That's one of my best friends right there.